This is demonstration video of BT Shutter Pro app and Bluetooth gadget remote shutter device. BT Shutter Pro is designed to use with Bluetooth remote shutter with preset scenes and other photo editing features to help users take less selfies. The app's main functions contains camera, photo library, collage, which will be demonstrated in this video. This is the BT Shutter Pro app and here is the Bluetooth gadget remote shutter. To use it, use the app, you need to collect this remote shutter to your iPhone first. On this shutter you can find video, camera switch, front and rear camera, shutter, zoom in, zoom out, and the power buttons. To make the collection, you need to power it on by switch the power button. Then you will see the blue LED. When it's powered, it will try to recollect to last collected mobile phone. If not, then we'll enter pairing mode. Or you can press zoom in and zoom out buttons simultaneously for a few seconds to enter pairing mode. You will see the blue LED flashing, which is in pairing mode. Then you can open your iPhone's settings, Bluetooth, to search nearby devices. and click to make the collection okay once it's collected you can open the BT Shutter Pro app which will enter the login menu you can select tourist login or you can switch back to other methods provided by entering settings log out the quick login, which means you can log in the, log in the app with third-party accounts with the apps installed on your iPhone. Here it contains QQ, Weibo, and WeChat. We will choose WeChat to demonstrate. Click OK. Then it's locked. Camera. This window contains the main functions to take selfies. And up first is the home button. Click to go back to the home menu. This full to change the picture size. And this is the bar. This is to control flashlights auto on and off and this one is to switch front and rear battery uh, cameras at the bottom this one is the photo library click to view the photos you took here is the main shutter menu it contains different scenes still or portrait and auto above you will find white letters which are different filters that is available if it, for you to choose you can switch to select the perfect one you want to use for example this one here is the shutter button you can either press to take a photo or you can press this button here to take a photo instead this button here is the video button press to enter video mode and press this camera button to back to picture mode or you can press this video button here to enter Press again to take the video and press again to stop and press shutter button to go back to the photo shooting menu. Okay, go back, library, 
for you to view the photos that you have took. And also here, you can choose edit to make changes to the photos you have taken. I'll save or go back. Here collage. This is a new feature we added for this app in which you can select the photos you have took. Click down to make the selection and then you can mix them up like a poster style and in this menu we have several preset ones for you to choose. Click save and you can go back to library to view the new poster you have made just now and also you can choose editing to make other changes. I will save or go back. In the setting menu here is the account information. Open the camera directly, which means if you will enable it. When you open the app, it will go directly to the photo shooting menu instead of the main menu. Read and fashion. Okay, that will be all.